Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is a 5G course on IoT Understanding channel. For today, I'm gonna talk about mobile edge computing or as we can say, uh, multi-access edge computing concept. So, uh, as you may already know, uh, nowadays uh, end users, subscribers, they require um, uh, self-specific uh, and uh, service-oriented uh, services, yeah? Whereas business wants to know more about uh, their uh, end users. And uh, this concept, uh, mobile edge computing, is a key technology to uh, bring uh, server service oriented capabilities right to the edge of network so uh, there are many architectures but basically mobile edge uh, computing technology it is a server it is a platform uh, located somewhere in the network in most of the cases it locates between base station and core network it may be uh, for example s1 interface yeah s1 interface and for some traffic that needs to be offloaded uh, this server may uh, be uh, uh, as a terminated point as uh, as a terminated uh, server where it's stored yeah and compute so such server may be used for storage and real-time computing for frequently used information yeah from uh, edge devices from end users and uh, this may be used as a traffic offloaded for traffic offload purposes Apart from this, uh, you can use such server as a, uh, as a server for third companies in order to deploy new and local services, yeah, for example, for them, or they can do it. Um, and of course, this concept is, uh, fits perfectly well with ultra low latency applications. Um, at the same time, you can locate Mac's uh, server not only as a part of radio access network, but also as a part of core network. For example, here between uh, PDN, Gateway, and other network, and uh, as um, it may sit on SGI interface, yeah, right here mobile edge computing server so in this case um, so I want to say that there are many possible solutions where to locate this server yeah um, but the thing is for some traffic this server is a terminated point yeah where it's stored and proceed but for other traffic this server is transparent <laughs> there is no any server yeah um, and this server may locate physically even inside base station yeah or one such server may uh, operates with uh, with a few or with a cluster with the base stations uh, with 10 or, or thousand base station so it totally depends on uh, particular cases and requirements and of course uh, where it is located it um, it has a huge impact on such uh, procedures in uh, core network in network yeah as uh, mobility management session management as uh, uh, security or uh, charging, clawful interception. So uh, there are many other issues that should be considered 
and um, I'm gonna cover these questions in my uh, next video. So uh, stay in by with Understanding IT channel. See you next time.